This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Nando's. We are live for the undercard of Mayer vs. Han. Up next is a six-round bantamweight brawl between the undefeated 3-0 18-year-old prospect Floyd Cashflow Diaz taking on the 4-1 Blake Quintana. Cashflow is the prodigy of Floyd Money Mayweather and is regarded as a can't-miss prospect. He will be tasked with taking on the 4-1 Quintana, who's not really regarded as high as Floyd. Will, will Quintana pull off the upset, or will Diaz get the win? Let's find out. And it's funny because Diaz is wearing a custom-made L.A. Rams outfit. Complete. He's got the helmet, he's got the football, and he's got the Super Bowl you know, jersey on. And the referee's literally got to, you know, check the, <laughs> like, you, you clown. Sharon Sand. Introducing first out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 120.6 pounds. Wearing red and white trunks. He brings a record of four victories with only one defeat into the ring. One victory coming by way of knockout from Kearney, Nebraska. Blake Introducing out of the red corner, presented in association with Antonio Leonard Promotions. He weighed in at 122 pounds, wearing white trunks with blue and yellow trim. He brings a perfect record into the ring. Three fights, three victories from Las Vegas, Nevada, Floyd Cash And Floyd Diaz, he's not just a bandwagon Rams fan. He's a professed Rams fan since before. And so you got to give him credit. Came out here with the ESPN football, the full Matt Stafford guard. Come on, Tim. Ding, ding, round one. And he's ran L.A. Rams fronts, too. Cowboys, you name it, all of them, they, they got the star all of them. Put the, put the tattoo on them. You got those trunks that look like flag football like your son was playing yesterday. <laughs> all running people over to him. Yeah, yeah. The outfit, yeah, it looked kind of, it looked all right. It's cool. I like the colors. Of course, that look there from Cash Flow. And Kidana told me, look, I know that Diaz is going to come out fiery, but nobody stood their ground against him and made him go backwards. So plan for the evening is to switch things up on cash flow Diaz. And Diaz lands a nice right there. He's going to eat some leather on the way in, I can tell you that much. Nice right to the body from Diaz. He's got such quick hands, Terry. Well, we got the cheek club. To be honest with you. I mean, the experience that he gathered in the Mayweather gym. Mayweather around, being promoted by Mayweather, learning from him. Yeah, cash flow is... You know, He's got the Rams gloves too. He went all out for this. Oh, he yeah. Oh man, he's landing some heavy shots on Quintana. Like his hand speed is whoa. Excuse me, eighteen-year-old, and he's only eighteen. Jesus. Quintana, he throws softball, and he thinks that's going to do anything. I, I, I think he's trying to confuse, trying to find another way to find, find another way to get in here. It's one thing to say you're going to do something. It's another to do it once you're out here with live fire. Quintana finding that out. He comes from a boxing family. His father is his trainer. His four brothers are all Fighters who excelled at the amateur level, winning amateur titles. But he's here trying to bounce back from his only professional loss. So Quintana last his lost fight. Now he's in the in the in, <laughs> in the ring with cash flow. An educated Floyd Diaz. IQ. Wow. 
I think that was, the, yeah, he was basically at the gym at five, and they said, come back in a couple of years. He came back a year and a half, and they said, all right, fine. <laughs> I think that's the story. I may be wrong. Or Flash, after August layoff as a pro, was supposed to fight in January, but that fight was canceled when his father, Mike, was hospitalized due to a double ulcer rupture. And now he's trying to rupture the face of Quintana with a nice right hand here. All right, another first round coming up. Excellent first round for Floyd Flash Flow Diaz. When we move over to ESPN. Ding, ding, end of the round. Ready for a good night. That was a war against Angel Reed. A homecoming fight in San Diego. Tonight's a homecoming fight from Michaela Mayer here, April 23rd. And Webley will be a homecoming fight. Oh my God. Quintana threw 25 punches, landed three. Yeah. Hope That's horrible. With us now. Remember, move over to ESPN when we're done here on ESPN Plus for our main card featuring three fights. All right, we got three fights left. One's Mayor, the other one's Santilla. I think the other Maloney brothers fighting. Quickness in the hands and also the feet working together simultaneously. Like Aaron Donald, <laughs> nothing gets past him. Nice left hook to set it up. He set that up off the jab. Got him looking, getting used to the jab. Then he snuck him. Goes from the same position where his hand is at. So he disguised it, coming from the same way. Stepped in the same way as he used his jab, but with the hook. Rising Katana. That was a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's count. a nice left there from Quintana. Now he presses Diaz, who Whoa. holds on to him. My referee is intense. Sharon said, not playing in there, Tim. Omega, don't make her raise her voice. Regulate her. Hey, I, you know what? I don't mind if she gets control right now. She's vocal. Absolutely. She's not, meaning she's not engaging with the fighters. That's what I like. She had a great performance earlier on in the fight card as well. Nice left from Floyd Diaz. I mean, this run has just been a clinic on the left hook. And now we see Ooh, Quintana starts to throw some shots. That is a loud voice. <laughs> Stop! And everybody's like... <laughs> You're being disciplined by your mother. You know, great in an open stance battle. In an open stance battle, then, you know, the leads are unmatched. You know, you're fighting to land that shot. See how he came around that guard? And you saw how quickly Quintana got back in the orthodox stance. <laughs> Not used to that quickness and speed of Diaz. But when you're fighting the southpaw, the, the left hand and the right hand. The nice combination by Cashwell. For each other. 20 seconds left on the round. Round here for Dash Low Diaz, and tonight's main event features Michaela Mayer against Jennifer Hahn. And for Hahn, she said, This is huge. You wish and you pray and you hope, but I never imagined that I'd be headlining. Look at that, Floyd's having a great time. Ding ding, another round. More Michaela Mayer footage. To uh, let's cut here. Minus I struggled to get opportunities, like, wonders weren't interested in Phoenix. So, when I turned for, I was like, oh, he's a fight. This is going to be awesome. That's not how it works. Not when we first started boxing, um, especially the pioneers of female boxing. So now that it's grown so much and promoters are finally recognizing that we have talent and they're putting us on TV and they're making us the main event, like, uh, it's already life changing. But to win and become two division world champion, I mean, that's going to open huge doors. Jennifer Hahn was very clear in our fight. She said, the business of boxing has been, I want them to know. That ding, ding, round three. If you dream big enough. Right now, Diaz is dreaming big. He says, I want to earn a world title before 21 years old. You know why? Because 
Floyd Mayweather won his first title at age 21. All right, so basically Diaz wants to win the world title at 21 because that's what Mayweather did. <laughs> he wants to be an Olympic gold medalist. So high dreams, high octane from Floyd Diaz inside the ring. Nice body shot. Cash flow. But he gets clipped with a nice counter right. But you'll take, you'll get three to get one. Well, he probably, you know, uh, Diaz is problem every now and then. He steps back and he exposes his chin one and he punches wide with his right hook and left hook sometimes. But well, he's getting caught in between. The thing is, he's 18 years old. He's got three professional wins, but it's yet to stop an opponent. I know that I'm growing into my body, but it's also the technique and, and you know, if he can tighten up those punches. Yeah, that's a problem because Mayweather could could put opponents away. Not a headshot, not much body work from Diaz. There it is, it's a trip it would seem. That's exactly what referee Sharon Sands observed that their feet got tangled. Well, I love her. She's a serious ref. I love her style, man. She's walking around, pacing, just looking at the action from outside. No, not a whole lot of body work. Every now and then you see spurts of body work coming from, from Diaz, and that's one area where he's... Yeah, Diaz's weakness. He doesn't go to the body much. Big puncher. You know, he's more of a systematically trying to break guys down and more of a cumulative, he has that cumulative effect. But if he went down to the body more, then he'll weaken his opponents, and then that will create some some opportunities for him to get a knockout. Oh, nice oh, oh. Quintana, almost, Quintana almost went down. Right himself. All kinds of got to do. He is. He just needs to walk. He just needs to walk down his arm. Stop! Walk him down. Stay consistent with his offense. Yeah, may get a stoppage. When we move over to ESPN, immediately after this ESPN Plus card, it'll be Andrew. All right, ding ding, another round. All right, ding ding. Oh, round four, that's fight. That's a bad boy. Both of those guys are bad. Quintana once again landed just three punches. Oh, no, body punches. All right. Leave that alone. Franco got your number. Some guys just have your number. No matter what you do, they just know how to beat you. I remember, you know what it reminds me of is how Shane Mosley had Oscar De La Hoya's number. Oh, body shot, and down goes Quintana. He doesn't feel good. He's done. No, he's done. That's it. That's it. I think he broke his rib. He must have heard Bradley. Literally, so now he's not really doing much of the body. Bam! <laughs> Down he goes, and that's it. He can't oh he can't get up. Never expected that shot. That's the reason why I hurt so much. That shot penetrated. So deep in the solar plex. It wasn't in the liver. It was in the solar plex. Yep, that, that's the way we really have him. He has landed that shot. See the reaction right here. He's like, oh. Those body shots. <laughs> I'm telling you, in the solar plex of the liver, the two worst punches that I would hate getting hit with inside that ring. And he's still trying to get his breath back. I mean, you talk about take your breath away. That's exactly what that right hook to the solar plexus did. Delivered by Floyd Diaz with precision. Power and conviction. He came on high and went down low. <laughs> set up. I can't wait to see replay because I, <laughs> I want to see how he, how he set that up. That was a surprising blow right there by Diaz. Sensational performance. All right, we, we don't have to we can wait for this. Here's a decision. Inside the hangar in Costa Mesa, California. This bout comes to a conclusion at 43 seconds of round number four. Talk about talent. You talk about precision, power, conviction. Floyd Diaz Jr. 
He's given it a lot to think about, especially after this big finish in Costa Mesa, California. We'll come back with more to wrap it up in Costa Mesa. All right. We can mute this. Okay. So that was Cash Flow, who once again looked impressive, and that was even better because now he got some knockout on his record. <laughs> and that was it. He just went bang, 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 uppercut to the solar plexus, and Kitana's like, Ugh. that'll do it. So big win for Cash Flow, and he's got another couple of years before he can, you know, win a title for Floyd, Money Mayweather. But he looks good so far. He's only 18 years old, so we'll see what the future holds in store. That about does it for this edition of Fight Night. I'll see you next time.